What happened with the storm last turn? Three tiles were damaged. Okay, I can see one of them. I see another. Was a mine taken off that tile? You know what? Actually, that's not as bad damage as I was fearing. <laughs> we'll go We'll go and replace it quickly. Looks like only a temple was damaged. Which way is it going now? Northeast. Yes, that's towards Korea. Quick, everybody jump into the mountain pass with your straws and blow. In the direction of the storm, <laughs> we must push it over the mountains. That's how it works. Every time I see a Hungarian huzzah running around it, <laughs> I get a little bit... A little bit worried. I have been building this for about 779 turns and I'm probably exaggerating but it's finally done and no one built it which I am very pleased about. Mausoleum. I have only ever had one great engineer this whole game and this is in a lake where I have no coast available at all so it could be the most pointless wonder in the world or it could mean later on that I could use someone like Shah or Goddard to give me an avenue of victory. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use it for but let's just assume that it'll be used for something. Uh, I've got a couple of water parks going down, We're putting some entertainment complexes down. My aim is just to make everyone happy. You can't make everyone happy, but in this game, you can pretend like you can. Nationalism will unlock an additional spy for me. That is good, because you know whose secrets we need. Yes, Yong Lei. So many techs ahead still. Only 17? Whoa, we've caught up three techs. <laughs> Celebrate everyone. <laughs> We're not doomed yet. We are. We're so doomed. Again, one of the most crucial things you need in any deity playthrough is a victory condition. Uh, some might call it a plan. <laughs> I don't have a plan. I still don't know how we're going to win this. So I'm just, I'm accumulating gold until I figure it out. Thinking of faith though, the more faith we get, that's, that's brilliant. There's nothing I can do with it apart from the letter and commercial hub buying. So I'm actually going to use my faith now to get stuff like banks. And I realized I was working on that bank. That was a terrible one to buy. But ignoring that, we're going to use it to get banks. The gold, I'm going to start getting settlers again. Now, whether or not this is worth the gold is debatable, but there's kind of like half a challenge is to see how many cities I can get. If I can get to about 35, maybe I'll stop at that point. Maybe being the word, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'll, I'll continue, who knows. But there's something just satisfying about continuing to put down city after city. So we continue. An inevitable sprawl, an endless wide sprawl across the world. And truly, who can blame me? Who can blame me for doing that? I'm not even joking, Scout. Move, move. <laughs> I want that tribal village. Should we celebrate the fact that we're now spitting coal out into the atmosphere? That is debatable but I am building Ruhr Valley. Yeah, I know. Marley with Ruhr Valley. Is there anything more pointless? <laughs> no, probably. Actually, as much as I'm going to settle, the settlers already, they're taking ages to get anywhere. So I'm going to move Magnus down and start settling down here. I mean, look at all this land. There's island after island after island. I, I want it all. Well, that was going to happen at some point. There were six mines around this volcano and now there are no mines around this volcano. <laughs> Uh-oh. No population lost, though. That's incredible. On eruption, it gives low yields and is most likely to damage improvements and buildings. Yeah, I, yeah. Still, though, no population loss is something I will take. That's awesome. Yeah, these new Incan routes are amazing. Two food, four production. 55 gold, you say? Well, go on then. Oh, thank goodness they moved off it. And it was 20 faith that whole time. Wasn't that worth waiting for, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that always the case? Why do we bother? Well, the counter spy hasn't found anybody, but that's because they're all in my little menagerie. You have to love that. You really do. Come on, finish Ro Valley. Get it done. Get it sorted. Here's Spillsbury and his toys. Excellent. Will we get Adam Smith in time? Oh, this unmet player. I still haven't met somebody. And I think last time I checked, they were doing really well. Yeah, they're fifth. Have we not met them? Oh, yep. And uh, Vatican City. Why do I keep forgetting about Vatican City? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next time. Next time I'm going to remember about Vatican City. He says, totally with conviction. I'm going to put down Liang because I like the idea of putting fisheries down in some of these island cities, but having somebody over, say, in this city that can produce really high charge builders, I think that's going to be quite handy in the long run. We are really going for governors. We're going for envoys, pushing my way to ideology so we can get to suffrage as soon as possible. 15% discount on gold. Purchases is actually bigger for me than the four food and four production.
reduction from trade routes to allies, and I never thought I'd actually say that, but it is. We have a lot of voting power here. I think I might try and force through something. Chosen option is unavailable. Siphon funds. This is a big gamble. I might accidentally <laughs> cause it to be two levels higher, but you know, I'm raising the challenge. We've got Amani in. We'll give it a go. What resources have we got multiple copies of as well? Whales. Duplicates of whales. We'll give it a go. I don't know what level of diplomatic favor we're going to get back. I haven't got a lot back, you know. There's a chance that we've actually just forced this through. No, no to Mercury. Unavailable on siphon funds. Oh, do you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? That's the sound of peace and quiet in my city. We're safe. We're finally safe. How far away is stock exchange? Economics. Uh, it's not too bad. That could be what I beeline now. I fancy some economics. I mean, I've got so much gold at the moment. Do we keep just buying bank? I'm tempted just to keep buying banks here, you know. Given I've got all the spare gold just kicking around. Bank, bank, bank. It increases my gold going forward. It means I just don't have to worry about producing anything later. And it's all the more merchant points for me later in the game. Some I can't. Oh, trading dome improvements. Trading dome improvements. Okay. Okay. This is one we did want to see. For every trading dome improvement, I believe it increases trade routes out of the city by plus one gold. You can put them in desert. And I've got one, two, three. I've got a few spaces for them, okay? So I reckon we can probably boost by about four or five gold per trade route. I've got 29 of them at the moment. This could work nicely. Now this is minus eight. I can take minus eight. Well, why not? Go on, Liang, get in there. I've changed my mind on your location. Yay, we've forward settled like an absolute blinder. This is my water park. And this is why Mexico City is so exciting. That's the range of it. I have 19 cities in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six or five of them aren't mine. So that's about 13 amenities if I get an aquarium, which is very much worth it. Bam, hits my capital, hits my gold roots. That's exactly what you want to see. Let's get the builder in, getting ready to use Samarkand. Now, can we chop out that Sugaba? You better believe we can. That means we can now get the Settler, means we can now buy the market. Next turn, we'll get a trader. We're getting 2,800 gold per turn already. <laughs> that's lovely. And again, another city. What is this now? 27? As we just keep going. The game wants to keep giving us cities. We say yes, of course. Mahanjadaro, Hong Kong. We're still finding new city-states, but not the ones we need. Uh oh, another windy whirly has appeared. This time it's, oh no, it's set the crabs free. Panic. Which way is it going? Southeast. Hmm, might be able to live with that, but I'd prefer if we didn't have to. Also, fun little thing I can do here, right? This settler is just gonna go off, and I'm gonna buy a new settler and use this Yong to come into the city, escort it, and then pull it out immediately so <laughs> I can move the settler on the same turn I buy it's such a small and petty thing but I love it another quick little beeline diplomatic league I've got three envoys and I can go one two three and pull in Samarkand over a hundred gold that just got me and then we'll pick up exploration just to change back to Vissel Banking nice and quick but this city state's really good because now I can put down the trading domes in this city now I believe they're the same I believe you cannot put them next to each other yeah, it can't be put next to another trading dome but this is a route. Do you see this? 40 gold. So if I go and um, plop a trading dome down, you can see it's now 41 gold. So we've just got 29 gold per turn by putting that one improvement down. It's amazing. Well, I just realized, mainly down to Namadol, which is giving me two culture for every city or district on the coast, which I'm building up quite a lot now. For the first time, I've gone above culture on Yonglei. So we've got a long way to catch up, but I am now the culture leader. Interesting. I don't know how that's going to help me. <laughs> But it is, it's something. 51 text versus 55. How oh, many? 16 behind now. Excellent. Storm Rage is. Oh, come now. <laughs> <laughs> all the places you could have gone. This is Revenge of the Crabs. Somehow the crabs are to blame. I don't know how. I don't know why, but they are. One more trading dome. The gold has gone above 3,000. That's what you like to see. Ruhr Valley. This is a city with a lot of trade routes in it, and now it has 20% bonus production. The one production in each mine is interesting, but 20% production, that's the sort of thing that stacks on trade routes and into space projects, if that's what I want to do. Flight is boosted. It's a difficult one to get normally unless you've got a great engineer. Yeah, this is suddenly very, very powerful. Oh, is that a Portuguese route that's opened up now? It is. These are the routes I really, really wanted because these are the economic routes again. How much gold was that? 70 gold on one route. It also means the chances are Portugal can actually start trading with me. I've remembered Vatican City this time. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did it. I finally remembered. Apparently we're the first and only people to circumnavigate the globe. That surprises me, but okay. I will take these accomplishments and claim that I meant them all along. Adam Smith says, Believe! Believe in Crustus. Yes, it's inevitable. You might see a pointless snow city here, but I can see two Auckland fishing boats, plus a delightful wood that I can chop out to get this sugaba done quickly. Who needs to settle on desert when you're Mali? No, snow is fine. It's snow big deal. <laughs> Buying a stable and an armory in my capital so that now it can do the beautiful thing. Building military engineers. <laughs> I'm thinking time is probably here to finish improving my religion. It's been a while. It's been, been a long time. I probably should have done it by now, but uh, what are you going to do? I don't particularly need or want this city-state, but I'm doing it for visibility right now because I still need to explore a large part of this central aspect of the map, which is okay. We found Kabul. Not what I'm after, though. It's not the prize. Yerevan's being killed. Spain just loves killing religious city-states. Wrong sort of inquisition. Come on, hold back. Uh-oh. Second storm. That's not good. It hit the zoo. Oh no, the animals. <laughs> I better repair that before it goes. Which way are you going to go now? Northwest. Eh, I'll take it, but please, please stop destroying my lands. Oh, you know what would have been handy this whole time? Religious colonization. <laughs> Whoops. We'll go scripture instead. Spreading the religion stronger. That combined with Jerusalem is quite funny. I think it's six per city. Yeah. Oh, we're going to start hitting cities around me quite, quite a lot. Yeah. Crustus is quite insidious. Gets out there. I heard big crunching noise of... Oh, yep. Of windy death. Two tiles got lost. What is that? Is that a sugarbut? Oh, it's entirely pillaged. That's no fun. All right, we might lose a trade route or two from this, but we can get around this. This is my 30th city. Do you think 30 cities is enough? It's debatable. So update on Yonglei. Yonglei has satellites, and they are now putting a satellite into space. Slightly worrying. That's about as bad as it's getting for now. There's still a chance. There's always a chance. No. No, no, stop it. Oh, that dust storm is devastating. It's taken out about three trade routes. <laughs> Stop it. Every now and then you find a barb camp and it does something you really like, like an ironclad. I'll take an ironclad. That's a, that's a boost. Amazing. Plus it actually helps more city-states to appear. More chances of Kamasi. I still haven't found any evidence that Kamasi exists. It might not exist. I don't know. I don't know. That could be a, that's a fun city-state if that one appears. This is a pretty strong trade route, isn't it, into Korea? Right, the first railway I build will be along this direction. Got a lot of military engineers appearing now. And I went through and I built a bank in every single city I own. It's one of the reasons I've got 81 merchant points coming in every turn. <laughs> it's just pretty strong. However, we can get stronger because now we have stock exchanges. They're only worth 17 gold, but that's because they haven't yet been improved. There's a lot of city-states we haven't improved yet. So yeah, I'm just spending a bit of time getting stock exchanges up, especially when they're in range of power plants. But now what do we do? Now that we have stock markets and bankers, we really should start thinking about victory condition. I've got the economy to go for science victory. I'm just behind in tech. How far behind? Check in. 56 compared to 39. Still 17 techs. So I've actually dropped behind a little bit. I think we'll get flight. I'll get chemistry. And between those two, I'll set myself up scientifically and militarily in case it's hungry I want to push through. Just claim a bit more land. Or maybe we just go for a bold attack on Yonglei using my cities down here. Ha. <laughs> that could go horribly wrong. But I almost like it because of the risk, you know? I wonder if we can see the tree is increase in value as I put railroad down on the route. Probably not. Yeah, no, that just gained a gold. Huh. I didn't expect it to happen that dramatically. I put another one there. 53. It's adding one gold each tile. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we know what we're going to be doing. Military engineers everywhere. I always like it when you see a ton of trade routes all finishing at the same time because you're like, yeah, sure. You go there. You go there. Everyone to a different place to 3,700 gold per turn already. I have to say, I like to think that I was going to play not relatively peaceful, but I wasn't really very militaristically inclined. But Hungary is working on Big Ben. Hungary also has Forbidden City. This is the same city of Buddha. Hmm. 
do I think I want that city or not? Huh. You know what? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to think on that one. That's a difficult one. Anyway, we've had Laventa appear. We've had a CAD appear. Nothing good. I in Gaza can move. That's the city state I would love to see. Kamasi, Chingeti. I mean, yeah, come on. There's gotta be better ones out there. Yerevan's being killed, but that's neither here nor there. This one won't convert. Come on, finish. Before Georgia grabs this tile, you have to. Oh, it's our Ma. Keep getting teased with really good city states, and then when they appear, no. Not very good at all. Successful linking of a railway route. That's good, but that's not what I'm after. Going after the trade routes. This is a very strange way of putting down railroad, but I like it. I like it. Lahore. Hmm, that's a very suspiciously named city. Portugal. Yeah. Flight. I can fly now. Yay. Absorbs this city state into my empire. I don't really want to be doing a lot of that, to be fair. But still, it stops anybody else doing it. And that's kind of the important thing. I, I prefer to have the city states. Colossus was still available. I, I don't entirely know how or why, but it gives me another trade route into Flaming Man. Which which is always a good thing. My alliances have all expired yet again. Huzzah! Now to decide what I'm going to do. My most traded ally is still Korea, so I believe it still makes sense to make a research alliance with them. Economic to Portugal, because they're likely to send me a bunch of routes. Dido is... I mean, she's in an area of the map I can't see. So I'm going to switch over this alliance, this military alliance. Hopefully she'll reveal a lot of the map for me. Canada I know about. I've wandered around Canada's lands for, for some time now so religious alliance will do. Hungary are not giving me open borders so I'm not taking it. I'm just assuming that this wouldn't be a deal that would be allowable. Which is a shame because I really want to build railroad through their entire land. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally the only reason. Still, so we've got railroad on the bits we can influence. I guess that counts. God may forgive you, but I never can. I love that line. Every time I see it, it's wonderful. Even Yongli's now decided they like me. It's unusual. It's it's weird. I don't trust it at all. Oh my goodness, I found it. Chingati. Oh, it exists. Okay, it's pretty protected. That is a bit of a problem. But domestic and international trade routes receive one faith for every follower of a religion in a city. At the moment, I've got 14 followers, so that'll be 14 times by 38. That is a lot of faith per turn. With ideology, we're almost at the really fun bit of the tree now. That's sort of turn 200 and onwards with tier 3 governments. This is where I think we're going to really pick up speed because, yep, that's right. I didn't think that 4,000 gold per turn was really picking up speed. No. We're sitting on it. We've got so much more. So much more. Democracy. Democracy time. Yongle wants to be friends. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that's what I want. Um, what I do want is the ability to steal from them scientifically. Uh, 50%. Is that the only one they've got? Fine. We're going to have to give it a go. Spies are so good. People tell me all the time how good they are. So, well, <laughs> we'll give it a go. Uluru. And have we done it? We finally found the last person in this game. How have we not found? them before. We have 32 cities and they have 12. Oh, anyway, hello Ottomans. Found a relic. Uluru. They're happy to see us in a golden age. Oh, good to, good to hear it. 20 population. I hit it. It's all good, but I am a bit worried because I didn't get the achievement for doing it first, which means somewhere someone has an absolutely giga city and it's not me. <laughs> Bet it's Yonglei. Bet it is. Keep getting markets. I'm down to 39 trade routes. I mean, that's pretty good. I, I feel like I'm doing well on the old trade route front, if nothing else. Oh no, scrap that. Sorry, 40 routes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I under-exaggerated there and I do apologize. Uh, I'm just purging other religions from this city. Uh, no reason. Not setting up for anything in particular. I just, uh, yeah, just, just doing this for no reason. Oh, Kamasi. Oh, finally. <laughs> We're actually finding city states now. How protected is Kamasi? Oh, a lot less. Kamasi is two culture and one gold for every trade route to a city state per district I have. And I've got, again, a few of these. That would be a huge amount of gold and culture. I just need more envoys. We need a lot more envoys. It's turn 200, by the way. It's a nice place to just sort of check in and see how we're doing. 41 techs versus 59. It's it's uh, only getting further away, this little pit of ours. But don't worry, the spies are going to be coming in soon to help me fight against the tide. We are the culture leaders and we have 4,300 gold coming in per turn. 16 
thousand in reserve. A good target in Buddha. I think that's still going to be a really good strike. Sanitation. I'm going to pick this up in a second. We'll go chemistry, radio, advanced flight. But I do need to think about starting to make more campuses now. A small military engagement with Hungary. Yeah, that would be a very useful thing to do. Oh, they've even got Alhambra. So there's three government cards worth of wonders in this civilization. That's huge. With this route to Portugal and this route to Vancouver. That is now 40 trade routes coming out of this city. 230 in production, 2,564 gold. Man, I wish I was playing with Monopoly's mode on. <laughs> could you imagine the filthy amounts of gold we could make? Oh, it would be beautiful. It would be lovely. Alas, not to be today, but that's okay. Okay, with sanitation, we have the ability to build sewers, which means I can then build sewers and get the brush for democracy. But you can see we do have seven houses, but don't have houses. <laughs> seven cities, but don't have houses. We've got houses, but don't have cities in them. That would be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Why does my city have a house and that house have a city inside it? Who, who knows? I mean, my trading hub has got to have a sewer. That at the very minimum. But, oh, you can see my Pingala city, which is still struggling on food. That's actually something I should probably work on now. The city does not need to be productive. It does not need this many mines. I'm going to replace all of these with farms and start to really grow this out. Yeah, that'll make me feel a bit better. This city has no housing. And neither does this one. Bam. Suffrage. Boosted. Here we go. Do you remember what I said? Campuses. We need more campuses. Campuses everywhere. Now this, we can't get rid of bonus resources. Those bonus resources are absolutely giving us loads of gold on our trade routes. But a mine? I mean, a mine is good, but I'm getting the production from trade routes, aren't I? Let's get rid of that for now. I love it when you can spot a trader that has a certain amount of gold, like 43, and then you put a railroad down on the trade route and you can physically see it change. Didn't happen this time, but it's been really fun to watch. Ta-da! It's suffering. So we're switching now from faith purchasing to gold purchasing. Speaking of, just gonna spend all my faith whilst I've got the discount. I might as well. A few lovely stock exchanges. There we go. Democracy. So we're gonna throw a lot of food and production into my trading cities, but most importantly, discounting on gold purchases. That's a big deal. Speaking of deals, new deal. That'll make all of my really important cities super happy. Combined with Republican legacy and new deal together, well, every city with three districts should be getting three extra amenities. That's pretty big. However, spies are what we want to be working on because spies are going to give us a huge way of catching up with old Yong Lei. So Machiavellianism, that's spy operations taking less time. And I'll keep the other card available for a little bit of shenanigans later. Raj, well combined with Trade Confederation, our city-state trade routes are getting very big now. And there you go. Yeah, we're suddenly very happy. And we're going to just double it up with professional sports because the Stadio, Aquatics Museums, all of this sort of stuff is great. And Sarah Breedlove, that is a huge amount of extra tourism. Tourism is not a bad idea, you know. Oh, for goodness sake, uh, Sir Vatican. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna rename this city. Vatican. Do it. Do it. There you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see this whenever something spawns in now. And I'm still gonna forget it. And I'm gonna marvel at myself for forgetting it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I've got a 35% gold cost discount now when I purchase things, which is brilliant. So we can get things like libraries in. We can get things like universities in. It's all lovely. University of Sankor. Two production. Oh, two turns, I should say. See, hmm, this is not a good wonder for this city because I've got trading domes in, I've got Kehokia Mounds giving me food, but it's very tempting. Other civilizations trade routes to this city give me science and gold for them. Two science trade routes to this city, trade routes give an additional one if they're domestic. I mean, this will give me no bonuses whatsoever, but I feel like if I don't build it, <laughs> If I don't build it, people are going to be really annoyed with me. So there you go. I'm going to build it. I don't want to hear it. You know what? Just because I can, I think I'm going to start building settlers again. <laughs> There is literally no reason to do this now. I just, I just, I can't help myself. I've got a problem. I'm looking for places with at least one chop. If I can chop something out, like over here is good. I can get a Sugaba going. That's more trade routes. 40 trade routes. I can do more than that. I've just realized we've got 373 production in this city. It's not even happy. Come now. It's just filthy. Real Valley is giving almost 60 production just by itself. What is going on? Professional sports. Oh, I really want to put triangular trade in. Raj is better
better for me because it gives me more of all of the important yields, but it's really tempting just to focus in on gold, I must say. Still, we will avoid getting distracted just for a second because this is a stadium. Huge, huge happiness. In fact, let's just make it even better by them putting in an aquatic center. We can watch people swim. We can watch people run, but we can't people watch swim running. I don't know where that thought's going. I lost myself halfway through that. <laughs> I had a lot of these things just lined up for this upgrade. Look, you see, every city is now ecstatic already. We did not need to push this very much. Oh, it's beautiful. Stadiums, we can probably take Republican legacy out of the government now. Let's give it a go. Let's instead put colonial taxes in and triangular trade. Let's see if I can get away with it. Is everyone still happy? Almost, almost everyone is still happy. But to be honest, the import, oh no, the important city isn't happy. What? We're down to zero luxuries now. Okay, 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 okay. So maybe we just need another card or two. I might get capitalism because it gives me a shopping mall, which is two extra amenities in my big city, but also laissez-faire. That will be six extra merchant points to any city with a stock exchange. <laughs> I like that. Do I need it? No, I do absolutely do not need it, but I'm, I'm tempted to do it anyway. I'm just going to spend some gold as well. So we're going to go through and any gold making building, shipyards, stock exchanges, anything like that, whether or not they can be powered, I don't even care. They're getting put down. We're, we're just throwing in on gold now. Oh, we're down to 6,000 6, gold per turn, only 68 in the bank. That is cathartic. This is where we got to, all the way down here. The Fountain of Youth. I better find a relic from that. Of course I did. I found some blood of the martyr. What was that doing in the Fountain of Youth? That's a story we don't want to know about. Let's distract ourselves instead with the University of Sancor, the amazing and golden and wonderful place that Lord Sucklington rules over. Ah, oh, if only I could get in. If only Ursa Bear could get Get in. So close. I am assuming that was all because our alliance level with somebody has just increased beyond a point. Ah, Pachikuti, you've been a great ally. I like you as an ally. We'll keep this cultural alliance going. Who was it? Dido. Amazing, amazing stuff. Look at that. We can see all around her tiny, tiny island. Look, there's so much room for you to settle into. Um, I'm sorry, what's this? Hanjadur, what, that, that doesn't feel like one of your cities, Portugal. Come on now. My capital can work on a stadio, which is brilliant because the production here is now 400. 113. <laughs> Okay, done. Got research labs popping up now. Just gonna put these into all of the campuses I have managed to build. And I think I'm gonna throw my gold again into settlers. I mean, it's tempting, isn't it? But Goddard, oh, I could, I mean, I can afford a great engineer every two turns. So we could try and get Goddard. We could try and get Shah. Shah would be good actually, because we could get a couple of really good wonders, including down here, Amundsen Scott. We haven't done, oh, okay. Yeah, gold is going into that. We're not buying settlers. Let's focus on great people for a bit. Just for a second. Well, so now I've got here, it's only 16% likely that I'm going to steal tech. 60, really? That feels rubbish. That feels really rubbish. Uh, well, I'll gain, I'll gain sources for a second and see if that helps, but we might have to throw some resources into making spies a little bit better because um, turns out spies could be useless. Who would have thought it? There we go. I find a long awaited upgrade for Bidonna. You're welcome. I wish I had more for you, but I don't. Actually, you know, I said I was going to save up. Um, Well, this is a minus game. This is a Brazilian battleship. <laughs> I can't help myself. Market economy. Oh, that's looking very tasty. Inspires are going to be useless. Um, <laughs> Machiavellianism I'm getting rid of already. Let's instead put in a laissez-faire. It's not a card I need, but already I'm earning 128 merchant points per turn. I want more. I want more. 85 gold from a trade route now. <laughs> oh, go on then. Go on then. These are, these are delicious routes to Phoenicia now. Amazing. Actually, with the shopping mall, which gives me a little extra amenity squeeze. We have housing, we have amenities, we have 432 production, 3,200 gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marnie's never coming out of that city. She never is. Conservation gives me naturalists. There was one park I could put down over here. Doing that, there will give me the boost to radio and that will help to push me across. 298 merchant points per turn I'm earning now. <laughs> Do I need any more? Any more for anyone else? 
Ottomans, why have you declared war against Kamasi? Is it that you hate fun? <laughs> <laughs> it might be. So let's see how much gold per turn I lose. About 400 gold per turn. That's barely 10%. We can last without this. Fine. So as we get to 25 population, I instead am going to pick to arms. Now this lets me declare a pretty much grievanceless war immediately. This opens up the opportunity of going after Hungary. John Rockefeller is wonderful. A really good pick. And no, I would like Mary Catherine Goddard. So let's just flex my gold quickly and immediately buy her before I Anybody else? And uh, Melita Benz. That jeez, if a tourism is really an option now because we're going to get both modifiers here. Oh, it's good. Oh, Vatican, do it, do it, do it. Look, I remembered. <laughs> I remembered. Even though there's only a little bit of a sliver, I'll get the full boost to radio. We'll just overflow onto something else. How much aluminium have we got? A lot. Please tell me a lot. That is easily obtainable. That is easily obtainable. That is already obtained. And I've even settled my trade city on top of some. Oh, okay. That's good. And there we go. Maybe this, <laughs> this settles it. Should I settle any more? No, we've gone to Washington. We've run out of names officially. We've got a lot of voting. I'm going to throw it on the things that make me happiest. For instance, a wild card slot in democracy would be amazing. B for Mercury was chosen last time. Don't really care about that. Two diplomatic points. I'll throw that towards the Ottomans again. Don't really care about that. World's Fair is fine. Okay. Actually, this time we could have skewed it last time, couldn't we? It was, it was really close. We've got five wilds. I'm going to just vote up on Wales and see what happens. We, we're not going for a Diplo victory here. It's probably not going to work. Ooh, I got half my favour back, so I think it's given a wild card, but it's not not giving it to democracy. What's it gone for? Monarchy. Meh. Banning truffles. I feel like I lost out of that Congress quite badly, but never mind. Canada likes me because I resolve international conflict. Uh, I think that's because I'm in the world's fair. Just watch what an advantage I'm going to have in this. Generating great people points per turn. Oh, if only we were generating great people points, eh? Is it the best wonder in the game? Does it have a car park? Both of these questions are linked but uncertain. All I do know is that I've got two amenities and six culture in every single city, which is good when you have 30 plus cities. Lovely. Bam. 1,000 culture per turn. That's a big, big increase. Oh yeah, World's Fair is uh, going pretty well, but we're going to have to just put brakes on it temporarily and put in containment. This doubles envoys, providing that the enemy, the, the person that sues her in the city-state has a different government to me, which when it comes to Dido, for instance, she is a monarchy. So two envoys into Kamasi, and suddenly all of my trade routes to city-states will give me a bunch more culture and gold. Oh, that just gave me over 200 culture per turn. Yeah, all right, that's, um, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can find one. Here we go. 17 culture. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I've stockpiled a little bit of gold now. <laughs> a little bit. 22,000. That approximately is about three turns worth of gold. Let's see what engineers we can buy. So Tesla is really good once you've unlocked oil or nuclear power. And I'm expecting the cost of these to go down now. No. No, there must have already been an inherent discount in how this worked out. I was worried that China was going to go boop and almost have the next one. Okay, that's good. I'm going to save up another. So I've got to 20,000. I mean, because it's, it's Shah or Robert Goddard. Those are the ones I want. 37% chance of stealing lasers. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I mean, I could make my spies better, to be fair, but we'll give it a go. And diplomatic visibility. I don't think that actually helps, does it? But got another plus three combat strength against Hungary when we do de decide to go to war. It looks like actually Hungary might go for me here. They're lining up a lot of hazars and kirasars and whatever on my border. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I also quite respect it in a funny old way. <laughs> It's, it's quite amusing. I really want them to declare on me. See how it goes for you. Oh, they're losing a city to loyalty. That's amusing. Oh, you're kidding me. The Ottomans actually took Kamasi just after I took them. They went all the way through there and captured it. <laughs> you absolute. I can't believe that. <laughs> Well, that's my fault for not checking it. I, I didn't even think to check it. Didn't even think to check it. Oh, okay. Advanced flight. Let's get the engineers in first before I buy this stuff. But there's Alto, who's a bit useless. Oh, and here's Shah. Shah is okay. Goddard is the one I want. Gonna unlock computers now. Flood barriers. Someone, I don't want to point fingers, is flooding the world. Um, it's me. <laughs> I've got a lot of coal power going on. City-state emergency. There's two of them here. I'm really, really tempted to go for both of these, but 
but we'll see how it goes. Might encourage the AI to do this sort of stuff. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to submit both of these. I don't normally do this. Well, I'm just going to throw in. Why not? We might be able to just explore a little bit more of the map, trigger some world emergencies, get the AI to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting for me. But Kamasi and Yaraven would be two very, very good things. Oh, who voted down? Yong Lei, Philip, yeah, they had a lot more voting power than me. Never mind. It was a quick salvo, wasn't it? It was showing my hand. I'm, I'm coming after you. Oh, the most annoying thing is Chingati. This city state I really, really want, but AI is not grabbing it. Nobody's grabbing it, which means containment isn't working. So I can't double up on my envoys. All right. All right, we'll save my envoys for now. I might have to just wait and do this the hard way. As we go Diplomatic League, I'll put two in. At least that's worth three, and I've staked a little bit of a claim on the city-state, and our temples will be working a little bit harder. Milita, excellent. I'm just spreading my religion down to Hungary now just to annoy them, but there's another trade route and more tourism of everybody. Very useful in the long run. Now, Goddard, claimed. Jane Drew, absolutely want her, but it's less of a priority now. We can afford to wait. Now we're going to build an army. Here's an airport. And with this, now we can buy discount bombers. 1,400 gold for a bomber? All right, then. Let's buy loads. I'm not the first person to get a plane into the air. It's always slightly concerning, isn't it? Oh, I have a big coal problem. Big coal problem. How much production is my coal plant plant giving me? Not a lot. Only four production in this city. So I'm actually going to switch to oil power and then Tesla will make it even better. I think that's not a bad shout. But Goddard giving me the boost to rocketry. That's really nice. Oh, I really hope this is worth it. I, I've been upping this all game. I've been saying that it's going to be the best thing. Chingrati with 27 followers of my religion in my city. I am on 433 go uh, faith per turn. Now I'm on 1,793. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Uh, now I need something better to use my faith on. Maybe I should have gone, <laughs> not the spy building. I should have gone Grandmaster's Chapel. Oh well. Computers. It's a bit more tourism. Most importantly, with the letter, I can now go around all of my cities and before the world gets off flooding level one, which again, I'm absolutely not the one causing this. No, no, no. We can just immediately flood barrier and buy these in for faith before any of my land sinks. Look at that one. <laughs> the entire city was going to disappear. Yeah, anyone you build that protects the city center itself, that always makes me feel really good because you know you're doing something right. Like the entire city would have gone down. I mean, quite a few of these cities would be underwater within about five or six turns so i'm quite glad we did this when we did next up rocketry how is young laid doing we haven't checked in in a little while 64 techs to my 47 we're still 17 behind they don't have nanotech or smart materials yet i guess that's a good thing i guess i have a feeling that when we do go to war i'm going to lose a lot of these traders because they're all going through hungarian territory all the more reason why we should be claiming this for our own now i'm going to deploy the fighter on this lovely little tile there. That just gives me good visibility. And we'll change my government around a little bit by... Can I put Wars of Religion in? I think we can. And this card will be quite good for me. I'm going to put Lasse Fair back in. But if I'm right, Hungary is following Zoroastrianism, not my religion. So, yeah, okay, they're not following it completely. But I reckon that will give me a bonus eventually. Eventually. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Tennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Paul. Libere, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Debel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, MTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, I Love You Tombo, Flying Dutch Burbs, thank you everyone for your support, see you all in the next video, goodbye!